battery and we're gonna try to start it up. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna jump back on this Buick Regal. We're so close, but we're still so far. We have to set up the cooling system, throw it on this vehicle, get it running, make sure everything runs right, and we can take it for our first official test drive. Let's get to work. So as you can see, the engine is fully in place. I haven't really touched it since uh, the last video. Over here is the cooling system. So this is the used cert I purchased. This is the original one. As you can see, it's completely tweaked over here uh destroyed uh that's the condenser brackets that's the original piece over there too this is the new replacements used oem pieces so i'm just gonna wash it out because it's been sitting there's lots of dust collected on them so i'm gonna wash it and that one since they're the replacements completely assemble it because it needs to go all together and uh, we can throw it in the vehicle Alright, so on the right side of the vehicle, the axle nut is not going to go on because I cross-threaded the, the, the treads on the axle, so that's really bad, it's really poor, but I'm going to throw in a new axle, I already have one on order that's yet to come in. In the meantime, we're going to jump into the front end, completely tie everything back together, install the cooling system like I mentioned, and hopefully get this vehicle running. Okay guys, lots of good progress has been made as you can see so far. The cooling system is fully installed. Everything is connected down there and up top. I have the support bar installed, the right supports, all of that is hooked up. I went ahead and cleaned up the top of this over here, installed the engine cover. That is good. The next step right now at this point is to uh, put some coolant in this thin, bleed the system, make sure there's no bubbles or air in the system. And we're gonna start this puppy up and see exactly if it's going to start up and how long she's going to run for. All right, guys, so right now we have coolant in the vehicle. You can probably hear the little pops in there. It's filling up, all the air bubbles are coming up right now, so that's good. There are no leaks underneath, there's just that from my spilling while putting the coolant in. So I think we're ready to start this. So right now I'm gonna try to start the vehicle. I'm very certain it's gonna start considering everything that I've done. But 
fingers crossed it does start i don't want to deal with any headaches really so let's uh, pop you guys up on a tripod and see if we can get this puppy started up all right guys now i'm gonna connect the battery and we're gonna try to start her up that's good we got power let's hop in and start this baby up This is super amazing guys, it's working, it's starting, there is no leaks on the needs. This is super good news, super excited about this. As you can see I'm currently looking underneath, there's no leaks. Like I said before that's just from uh, feeling the coolant over there. I don't see anything leaking, the engine sounds amazing, very healthy. Coming up top, everything is still looking good, no smoke, so that's super good. A few moments later. All right guys, we're out here, we're trying to get some parts for the Buick Regal, as you can see. I mean parts, nation boys and girls. So right now we're looking for a couple of things that the dealer is giving me crazy ETA to get them in. And I don't want to wait too much to get this sensor in, so uh, my good buddies over here at Gills Auto in Selkirk, Manitoba are hooking me up with some parts as usual. So I'm going to find the vehicle, I'm going to take some parts off it and we're going to get back home and continue working on the Regal. Okay guys, I just threw the hood back on the Regal and right now it's not lined up, it's not fine-tuned right now, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do right now is gonna start installing the little pieces that needs to go up in the front end. For example, the front crash bar is currently not in there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and install the hood airbags, which is kind of very interesting because it's the first time I've seen this on any vehicle. So on this vehicle, it has a safety feature. I'm gonna put up a video over here so you can see what I'm talking about. There are a hood airbag, I'm gonna call it, or struts that deploy when you get into an accident to save the uh, pedestrian, if it's a pedestrian, uh, the hood is gonna come up about four inches. It's supposed to be a safety feature that uh, these guys have put into this vehicle. I don't know how well it works, but uh, in order to, for this vehicle to pass inspection, we do need it back to OEM standards. So we're gonna toss that in because I picked up a replacement. And uh, we're gonna throw on the wheel airbag because I also have that and that's been deployed due to the accidents and try to throw as much parts on this vehicle. So without much more talking, you know what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna get back to work and uh, get this vehicle looking better than it currently is. Okay guys, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to install the replacement axle I picked up. I didn't even look at this when I picked it up, but over here I'm gonna show you exactly what's wrong with it. All right, so as you can see, that's my original axle over there that's damaged, that's the replaced one, one I picked up with the red markers on it. And over here, it's all destroyed. So I can't even thread the nuts on there, which is the same problem I had with the original one, plus the leaking. But it looks like this was hammered out really poorly and the uh, treads are all bad, so I can't really throw this on. So I'm gonna to need to get another one. But that's okay because we still have a lot of work to do on this vehicle, a lot of parts to go on, and that's what we're gonna get right to now.
Okay guys, so we had an issue with the axle I picked up. I didn't notice it until last minute, but that axle I picked up was damaged. All the threads were completely destroyed. There's no way I would have gotten a nut on that uh, axle. So I went ahead and ordered an aftermarket unit brand new. What, it's exactly what I should have done from the beginning, but obviously I didn't do that. So without much more talk, we're gonna go ahead, open this all back up again, throw in that brand new axle, put this baby back down, and we should be ready for our first official test drive. Let's get some work going. So quickly we're right where we left off i did miss to i did forget to videos a couple of things unfortunately i got carried away working on this vehicle the buick as you can see is not in the garage i did not film a first drive i really didn't drive i just put it in uh, in the in the yard so it's nothing crazy so i quickly ran to the dealership because some of the parts i ordered are now in it is impossible to get parts for this vehicle it's insane but i have picked up one of the major parts that's needed to completely tie this vehicle back together and that part is the front bumper so i had to buy a gm original front bumper from the dealership because there's nothing aftermarket available for this vehicle which is unfortunate because this was very very pricey but we do have the front bumper also while i was out there i also picked up the front crash bar absorber so this goes right in front of the reinforcement bar i needed that so we have it right now so it's very good i also repainted the rear bumper because it had some damage to it did not turn out to be the greatest paint job so i have that set outside right now i'm going to repaint it to make it as good as possible considering what it looks like right now So like I said, over here is the rear bumper that I painted last year. Some of you guys, the OGs, will probably remember me painting this bumper. But that's okay because I'm going to sand it all down. Like I said, some of the body work I did did not turn out to be the greatest. So I'm going to sand it all down and paint it one more time. So as you can see, I just unboxed the brand new front bumper. This is an OEM bumper straight from GM. I'm just gonna go ahead and test fit all the grills I have purchased, make sure everything fits before I start uh, painting this. It would really suck if I paint it and then nothing fits. I've had to do that before and it was a very bad ordeal. So I'm gonna test fit everything, make sure it fits. Then we can start prepping this for paint.
Okay guys, as you can see, I've quickly mocked all the parts up to this bumper and everything is fitting, everything is lining up, so that's a really good thing. Over here, the side bumper marker light that's on, this fog light bezel is in. I do have the fog lights and I am gonna need to trim this in and put it in because I could not find the right bezel for the fog light, so this was the only option I could get. Another thing, the lower bumper, this is an this is the Europe spec one. As you can see, the license plate is much bigger than uh, another America plates. But again, I could not find properly priced uh, United States or North America lower bumper, so I went with this. The grill is from the GS model. This vehicle is not a GS uh, Buick Regal, but uh, we're just gonna roll with it because like I said, there's almost no parts available for this unit. You no, know, we're up badging, down badging, doing all sorts of things, but this is just to get this vehicle ready because if I was waiting for the proper parts to come in, I would never know. I would have eight months for just one piece to come in, so I'm not looking to wait any longer. And these parts looks good to me, so I'm just gonna go with it. All right, guys, right now I have the bumper in the make the boots. I still need to wipe it down and throw some adhesion promoter. So the first thing I'm gonna do right now is completely wipe down the bumper one more time, spray some adhesion promoter, and then we're gonna throw paint right on that. There's no need to primary because it's all good. There's no damage to that bumper whatsoever. I painted this last year. If you guys are new to the channel, the video is gonna be up here somewhere. I painted this last year. I just really didn't like the way it turned out. That's why I'm painting it again. And uh, I'm gonna paint the front bumper next after this one. Over here, I just cleaned out the gun. The new paint is here. Very nice paint, lots of metallic. All right, guys, and we have the front bumper in the make do boots. It's prepped, it's cleaned. It's sanded, all that good stuff. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the primer sealer, spray that, then some base coat and some clear coat. It seems like it's easy, but it's a lot of work, but let's jump right to it. Ten years later. All right, guys, and just like that, the rear bumper that was painted is now in here. So what we're gonna do right now is completely assemble it because it has the lower piece, it has some lights that needs to go in it, all that good stuff, and then we can slap it back on the vehicle. 